So in my mind, the biggest way that I've seen behavioral changes happen in people is that they start to actually understand how to connect their actions today with their goals in the future. And that's, I think, the biggest thing missing is if you say, if you ask someone, what do they care more about, going to the movies or providing their child with uh, you know, a wonderful life? I don't think you'll find someone that says, oh, I'd rather go to the movies today. Um, but the idea of what providing your child with a wonderful life means or what not working till I'm 85 means in terms of today's dollars, uh, that is so abstracted that people don't know how to understand it. And people that are crazy optimizers that'll build a spreadsheet and model out their future cash flows, like those things, those are things that you know, people won't do regularly, which is where I think sometimes people need help with. I think the idea of building, you know, what I'll call a future cash flow model and adjusting it for taxes and investment returns and you know the variability of the market, that's something that I just don't expect regular people to, to do in their spare time. The downside is if you don't do that, you don't know how spending $30 a week on food might affect the ability to do something you care about so much more. And so you know, the idea behind financial planning as a, you know, an industry or a process is to take an inventory of the things in life that are important, your goals, your priorities, things that are important to your family, and kind of line them up with the current situation you have financially, your net worth, um, your, the amount of money you have, your debt, your assets, and then actually look at what you're saving and, and what it would take to get where you want. And some people can do that on their own. They could read a book. Some people could be given a piece of software that lets them run those calculations. And some people need to talk to someone because if you ask the average person what's important to them, do they wanna buy a house? Do they wanna have a family? And do they wanna stop working? And they have to rank the relative priority. It's like not an easy conversation. Uh, and if they've had this dream of being able to afford a you know, million dollar home and it's not a possibility, they don't know what to do. And so in some ways I think it's not possible for everyone today to kind of completely rewire themselves to do all of this. Um, you know, I think a long-term solution is to start teaching more about financial literacy and financial planning and just simple concepts like budgeting and savings and interest and investment returns in, in school. Um, but for the majority of Americans who are, you know, stressed out about money and don't even have $1,000 in savings, like, it's a little too late to go back in time and change their, you know, financial education. Um, that doesn't mean it's not too late to give them more tools and more services to equip them with the ability to plan for the future and understand those trade-offs. Um, and we've seen people who, you know, say, I, I'm thinking about getting a bigger apartment. You know, I know I can afford it. I make enough money that I'm not going to, you know, I'm, I'm saving. So why don't I spend another thousand dollars a month on rent so I can have a nicer apartment? And independent of their future, why not? Right? You're still able to save, but when you look at, oh, well, actually, we ran the numbers, and you care about your paying for your kid's education. If you save that $1,000 every month until your child is you know, ready to go off to college, you'll actually have half of their college education funded just from that. So is it worth having a little bit of a bigger, cooler apartment when you know that the difference is your child's education? It's like, no. And that decision was so easy for this one particular person uh, once they thought about it in that frame. But if you didn't do that, they were just like, well, I can afford it, so why not?